So here we're looking for something called the effective bandwidth or the containment bandwidth. And then this question is asking for the bandwidth which will contain 95% of the total energy of the signal. So remember what we have is a signal that's passing through a low pass filter. So it has a spectrum that looks something like this. It's a double-sided exponential. But because it's passing through a low-pass filter, it will be limited from minus omega to omega. So the question is, what is that value of omega for which the energy contained within this bandwidth will be 95% of the total energy? So that's the question. The question is, what's the value of omega that will retain 95% of the total energy? So really, it's, a, it's just a case of finding omega. So we would say something like that the energy retained after filtering divided by the total energy is 95 over 100. So that's 1 minus e to the minus 2a omega. So now it's just a case of finding omega. So it's a little bit of mathematical manipulation. So you've got 0 0.95, take away 1. So that's 0 0.05 equals e to the minus 2 a omega. Remember, we're after that, the value of omega. So you take logs of both sides. So natural log of 0 0.05 equals minus 2 a omega. Omega equals log 0 0.05 divided by minus 2a. Now, we don't know a, but we can certainly calculate that. So, in the calculator, it's 0 0.05 divided by minus 2 equals roughly 2 two significant figures, it's 1.5 over A. And that's in radians per second. Because obviously what we found is a value for omega, not for frequency. So if we wanted to convert that into frequency in hertz, we'd say it's 1.5 over 2 pi A equals zero point two four over a hertz. So what have we just found? We found the value for the cutoff frequency for the low pass filter no we will if if we're not talking about filters we're talking about a filtered signal we're talking about the value of frequency omega for which the signal will retain 95% of its energy so we call this the effective bandwidth, or the 95% containment bandwidth. And this 95% could be replaced with 99%, or 90%, or any other number. So it's the effective bandwidth where that percentage of the total energy is retained. And we found it in radians per second, and we found it 
in Hertz. So your, your final answer would be this, and that's a function of A, and A is a constant. So if the question had given us A, we would have been able to calculate the effective bandwidth.